Hi Martin, so we're in one of the buildings that we're setting up a new recycling operation. This is the very early stages of setting up a plant to recycle large rigid plastics. These are the plastics like bread crates and traffic cones and broken toys and garden furniture, all the big things. Not your milk bottles and your coke bottles that we are so you know, used to seeing recycled. And it's part of a bigger vision at the Bin Eco Park to build um, innovation into the new system for managing plastics. Obviously the Bin Group collect wastes all over the country and a lot of that waste is plastic waste. And what happens with a lot of that plastic waste is it's, it gets left in the residual waste and that residual waste goes off to incineration. And across the country we're starting to ban landfill which means that more and more residual waste is going to incineration. And there's more and more plastic turning up in residual waste because we're consuming more online, um, there's more plastic packaging anyway, um, and there's a whole range of issues about the mismanagement of plastics. But one of the concerns I have is that we're very selective. So we want the plastic milk bottles, we want the Coke bottles and the water bottles and so on. Um, we want some of the plastic bags maybe, but we don't want all of the rest of the more complicated plastics that get into household waste and commercial waste and industrial waste. And so, you know, we end up with that in residual waste. Our view is that you need to collect all plastics separately. Plastics is a highly complex group of materials and uh, it's, 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 you know, it's something that you have to think about. If you're going to collect plastics, which means that they have some kind of value, they're in a safe place to be managed, there's less risk that they're escaping to the environment, they're not litter, they're not getting into drainage ditches or rivers or estuaries and into the seas because we've got a global catastrophe of polluting our oceans with plastics. Everybody knows that now. That's all due to the volume of plastics that we use in the global economy and how poorly we recycle. So we've got to do a lot more to create demand for recycled plastics. You know, we should have a league table of products that can only be manufactured with 100% recycled plastic. You might have some products that are completely exempt from any recycled plastic and you've got the whole range in between. But we've got to create demand for recycled plastic. But the, the, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to collect all plastic into facilities that are designed to manage those plastics. And that's what we're trying to, to build out eventually on this site as part of the Taste Cities deal. So the Bin Grouper uh, and, and my company, Pi Polymer, are very involved in that discussion about changing how the system works. Once we've got all these plastics, we can separate them, we can mechanically recycle some plastics, we can chemically uh, and or thermally depolymerize some plastics back into their building blocks and reuse them. And um, we can put some products into, you know, bituminous products for roads that create lower carbon um, road surfacings. Um, there was an, an early concern about, uh, you know, microplastics coming from plastic. We've researched that quite carefully and we're convinced that it's so bound into the bitumen that that's not an issue. The issue, as we've said in another video today, actually was for uh, microplastics is from tires and you know brake pads and such like that's a very very significant issue and that's just the amount of you know driving that we do in the roads so we want to build these factories bring all plastics in stream them to different value it also means at the back end having the ability to you know um, compound and pelletize and remanufacture make things from the, those plastics each innovation hub each advanced plastics separating facility will sit regionally they could be all over the world they create a regional economy for plastics we can connect to academics, we can teach students, we can do research projects, uh, but it's about creating a local plastic economy, including smart manufacturing, and instead of just recycling, but actually making the things and creating jobs from managing plastics properly by bringing all plastic into places that are designed for their competent management and not leaving them in the bin to go to an incinerator and contribute to climate change. More than happy for people to talk to you in the comments, visit you, university students? To the oh, ab absolutely. You know, we, we do a lot of site visits. We do a lot of MSc project work. We work with a lot of academic institutes. You know, I'm a clean technologist, industrial ecologist. My fascination is finding system and technology solutions for these issues. Right. We're happy to talk to students, happy to talk to businesses that are looking to locate and do circular economy or clean technology work. This is a great site to come to. We've got low carbon energy here at fixed prices. It's a great place to come and do business.